Hi, I'm Brandon Roland. Today we're going to be looking at how to make these two videos into this one video, just by using the power of rotoscoping within Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. All right, so now that we're here within Adobe After Effects, we're going to go ahead and add our first video to our track here, which is going to be the walk video, which we'll be adding the rotoscope to. Now, as far as this, we're not too fond of the background of this one. We decided we wanted to be in a little bit different area of the background. So we're going to add it to this back plate here. Now what using rotoscoping does, it allows us to mask out something like a person walking or any other object like that that's in motion. It allows us to mask it out and then superimpose it onto any background that we want. You can use rotoscoping for several different ways, different techniques you want to use. For this one we're using it to replace the background behind our character. To go ahead and start rotoscoping After Effects, first thing I like to do is open up our walk layer here. And just so I don't get it confused with my main portion here, I'm going to go ahead and name it Walk 2. I'm going to go ahead and open up this Walk 2 layer here in our Layers panel. So all we got to do for that is just go ahead and double click it. Now we have it here in its own little panel here. We can scrub through it. Now as far as this, we're only going to go about a second and a half on it, so we can go ahead and bring that playhead down and mark it as our out point. To start real quick on this, we'll go right up here to this little figure up here. This thing here, you have two different things. You have the roto brush tool and the refine edge tool. We're not going to worry about the refined edge tool today, we're just going to work with the roto brush tool. So you can go ahead and click that, and you can do this nice little green crosshair here. And you have a few different options here. You can go ahead and hit control and then left click, move your mouse up and down to increase and decrease your cursor. That should you cover more space, you want to do more broad or a little bit more detailed work. You can also hit alt and it gives you this little red crosshair here. That's how you can select what you don't want in your image. So we're going to go ahead and do a very rough rotoscope here first. So the rotoscope you just click and trace the outline that you want to have around your character. Now it captures so many, it also captures a lot of things that we don't need. You can see we have all this ground over here and there as well as this thing here. The way you can tell is it's marked with this little pink line, how you can have it there. Personally, I always go down here to the little red button here to toggle my alpha overlay. This allows me to better see what's being rotoscoped out. The red is going to be out, everything that's not red will be in. So you can see we have all this extra area here, so we're going to go ahead and hit our alt key so we can get rid of some of that area. Now the way that I personally rotoscope is I'll go through and I'll do a very rough math first. And then I'll go through and then I'll do all my detail work after I finish my rough rotoscope. So start out here getting a little rough design here on the first one. We do that one. So we have a nice little rough area there we can work with. If we go ahead, we can go ahead and go to our next frame between the page down key on the keyboard. You can see it changed there, so we can go ahead and do some just some minor adjustments, and you're going to keep on doing this. But it is a slow process. It, you have to go through every single frame that you have here. In this case, for the second and a half clip, that's 36 frames. Now with rotoscoping and After Effects, the built-in rotoscope tool is definitely a lot better than it used to be, but it's still not the best that you're going to get. You're not going to get the best rotoscope out of it. There are programs such as Mocha that you can use when you get more advanced, but as far as just starting out, I recommend just staying with After, just staying with the one inside After Effects. It's going to work out the best for you. Now for this, like I said, you go through each individual frame. It takes a lot of time to do that. 
uh, not much changes, it's the basic gist that you have here of it all. So instead of making you sit through that whole process, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my full composite layer and show you what it looks like when it's finished up. Alright, so this is my full roto that I've done. It's a very, very rough roto. I've done a little bit of refining work to it, but we're going to keep it more rough for this scene here because we have a darker scene that we're working with so we can kind of hide some of those blemishes in it. We're going to go ahead and go to our full composition here and you can see this here is our roto layer here. It has the background has been removed from it from our rotoscoping. So we can go ahead and bring that background back up again now. Now we can see that the size looks okay in this. It's had a little bit of resizing done to it already, but the size looks decent for it. It looks realistic. However, the color is definitely off, so we need to do a little bit of color adjustments to our effect, to our background layer, and to our foreground layer. So one thing we add to this here is go ahead to our effects and presets, and we're going to go ahead and search for our curves effect. All right, so we're going to search for our curves effect here. We're going to drop it onto this layer right here. And we're going to bring the blacks down a little bit. And then increase our highlights just a bit on it. So now we're getting that little bit more realistic look to it. You can see that having that, that darker image there, that darker background even, taking out some of our previous issues that we have with the background being seen for it. So I can boost the highlights a little bit more here. And that looks good to me, so we're going to go ahead and keep that there. So now we have it superimposed so that we have what was originally a full video, now superimposed on this new background here. And that there is pretty much the basics rotoscoping. Uh, see you next time.